Hi, and welcome to another video tutorial of TechSavvyMarketer.com. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft Front Page, which is the program I recommend you to use if you want to create your website without paying for a webmaster. Front Page works a lot like Microsoft Word, so if you know how to create a basic document in Microsoft Word, you can learn how to create a web page in Front Page. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic website, how to include images in your website, and all the things that you should know when you create your first website with front page. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to create a dedicated folder in your, on your hard drive uh, where you're going to save all the HTML files you're going to create and also the images you use on your website. In particular, as you see uh, in this folder, I created a subfolder called images and that's where I'm going to save the images I use uh, in my website. Um, if you want to learn how to create a simple website graphic with uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements, just look for the video tutorial on techsavvymarketer.com, by the way. So I'm going to go back to uh, front page, and I want to start by telling you uh, what is the uh, whole philosophy behind creating a web page and the best way to create a simple one. I think that the best way is to think in uh, tables. So if you uh, imagine your web page like a big table, it's going to be very easy to uh, create one. So you just need to uh, divide your web page in table cells and that's where you're going to place your information. So I'm going to show you right now how to create a page following this uh, philosophy. So let's start by creating a blank page. To do that, I click on File, then New. I click on, click on Blank Page, and I'm going to save immediately the page. So File, Save As. This is my uh, site folder, and I'm, gonna, and I'm going to call it uh, index.htm. This is going to be the home page of my website. So uh, as I told you before, uh, all the content of the website is based on a, a table so I need to create the main table uh, and in each cell of this table there's going to be a section of my uh, web page so for example in the top table there's going to be the website header graphic then in the second one the top menu then in the third one uh, the content of the page and at the bottom one I'm going to create a, a series of links that opens up in uh, um, a new window. So to create the main table I click on table then insert table and in this window I'm gonna specify that I want a table of four rows and one column. I'm gonna specify the width which is in pixels 760 so that uh, my web pa uh, my web page is going to be shown correctly both in uh, 800 by 600 and in higher resolutions and I'm going to say that I don't want borders and I want a padding of 1 and also spacing of 1 okay so I'm going to click on OK so this is the table that was created I'm going to select the entire table to do that I click on this button here so the entire table gets selected I'm gonna click here on center so my table is going to be centered in the page so people with 800 by 600 resolution uh, they're gonna see the table in its entirety people with a higher screen resolution are going to see the table uh, center in the screen and they're gonna see white space uh, around the table on the left and the right side of the table since their screen is bigger than 800 pixels in width. So I'm now gonna insert a header graphic right in the first uh, table cell. To insert an image, I'm going to select the first cell of my table and I'm going to click on um, insert picture from file. So this is my uh, header graphic. 
that I created in a previous tutorial. So I'm going to click on save and this is my header graphic. I want now to create the menu at the top with you know the main pages of your website. So I want to create four links in this uh, cell. To do that I'm going to right click on the cell and do, I'm going to do split cells and I'm going to do split into columns and I want to create four columns for example. Okay, and I want to make the width of these columns uh, 25% uh, of the total width. So to do that I'm gonna uh, select them all, right click on any of them and I'm gonna select cell properties. I'm gonna check specify width. I'm gonna put 25% so they're actually going to be all the same in size. So I'm gonna save my document and I'm gonna include the link. So the first one could be home then uh, products for example then uh, about us and contact us so I want to make these centered so I'm gonna select again all the cells and make them centered then I'm gonna create a link in each cell to do that I click I select the text that I want to make a link out of I right click on it and I select hyperlink. It's the last voice of the menu, you can't see it, but this is what comes up when you click it. And the, the page name in this case is index.htm and I click OK. Products, same thing, so right click, hyperlink, and in this case I'm going to call it products.htm. The file is not there yet, but front, front page is not going to give me an error message. I need to remember to create that file, otherwise uh, the people won't be able to uh, to see it online. Okay, about us, same thing, hyperlink, and uh, it's called about us .htm. I strongly advise you not to put spaces in your file names. What you can do is put a score, for example, to separate words. Okay and then contact us. So right click, hyperlink and uh, it's going to be called contact us.htm. So here it is. Uh, we have all our uh, links in the menu and I could for example say that I want to make this uh, gray so I right click uh, cell properties. I'm gonna select the background which is here and I could for example say that I want this to be gray and also the I want to make these bold so I, cl I click on bold and there I have my text in bold also I personally don't like Times New Roman as a font uh, on a website it's good on uh, you know on a print paper on a printed paper but I, per I personally think that Verdana is the best choice to have on a website and here you can decide the size. I'm going to leave it to 12 points but you can change it there if you want. So next thing I'm going to uh, create the content of the page. 